Welcome to Adventures with Captain Ray Kelly. On this adventure, we go to Centerport, New York for the monthly meeting of the Mid-Atlantic Koi Club. I'm also on Instagram, Twitter, and of course, Facebook. Hi, welcome to Adventures with Captain Ray Kelly. And you'll never guess where I am. Maybe you can see it right back there. Yep, it's a koi pond. We're at Henry's house. All right, so anyway, I'll give you a look. The people will be arriving shortly. We're having the monthly meeting of the Mid-Atlantic Koi Club today. But look at this pond. Look at it, gorgeous. And he's got gorgeous fish. Where do you see them? But he's got a nice setup here. Take a look. And just take a look at this pond. Look at that. This is different. Because he's got a waterfall that goes into a little stream. And then falls into the pond. But look at these koi. Look at them. Wow. Look at them. Hard to pick a favorite. So, let us know in the comments who's your favorite. And please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel now. And Henry uh, is showing Steve, the vice president of the club, his filtration system. But this is gorgeous. We'll take a look at his filtration system now. John and Lori, my favorite people. Hello. And he's got these stepping stones right here, which is very, very cool. Look at this. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. <laughs> and look at that. Look at that. There's the waterfall. Look at this. Your How you doing? Hello. <laughs> Hi, welcome to my pond. It's in about the sixth or seventh year. Things have matured and grown around it. And I uh, have 14 fish, 15 fish. And uh, I love it. I love being out here. The fish are nice, but it also gives me an excuse to have a nice garden and a nice recreation area for us. There's a lot of wildlife here, and uh, if you're thinking about getting a pond, I certainly would recommend doing so. So, so Henry, you, you're a member of, the, obviously, the Mid-Atlantic Koi Club, and how long have you been a member, and what do you think of the club? I joined right after, in that first year, I knew nothing about it. I did go to some of the forums online, and they told me a lot of the do's and don'ts about building a pond. Like, for instance, they said, make sure you get a bottom drain. And they said, don't build a pond that's too small because you're going to be sorry one day in the future. So I built a nice sized pond right from the get-go. And uh, it was good advice. There's a lot of good advice, a lot of good people online. Well, I'll tell you, I know I've been a member of about seven years now, and I love the Mid-Atlantic Koi Club. I've learned so much from talking to the different members and uh, I remember the first time I came to see your pond and I have to say Henry it is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Seeing a lot of people don't realize it but a lot of ponds have bogs attached to them. Here's Henry's bog and trickles right into the pond itself and it is gorgeous.
beautiful pond, Henry, and great food. Yeah. Uh, uh, Herb sent me this. This is a Golden Lodge Forest for $100. Somebody had donated it, and it's five, five trees on a rock. So if anybody's interested, it's 100 bucks, and he'll either bring it up or he can take a ride up there and see the fall leaves. Pick it up. We took a ride up there. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a ride. ride. They're saying uh, the price of, of koi food, and it all depends like where it comes from and who's making it. And koi need at least 25 to 35 percent protein, and protein is to grow. Now, who needs it to grow? Is all the your young baby fish? Just before spawn, well, just before spawning, they're not hungry. But during spawning, they're hungry, and then all the fish don't need as much protein. And besides the protein, they, they need um, they need fats, oil. And I'll close the video with one last look of Henry's beautiful pond and koi. And as always, thanks for watching.